Hi guys, my name is Firefire. Welcome back to another episode of Learning Factory. Now, this is most probably going to be the last episode. So, what are we going to do today? We are going to make the cat house maker and the cat food maker. And they're the last two buildings that I can produce, uh, that I can make that produce goods. The last building after that is the monument prototype, which I got a feeling it's this. But we're going to build it and see what it is anyways. But first, let's get down to Cat House and Cat Food Maker. Now, maybe I checked it last week, uh, last episode, if I, what you need for these, but I don't remember. So we're going to put these down somewhere down here and see what items we need. I really do not like the collision on this, um, especially walking through these bushes. It's absolutely frustrating. All right. Cat house. Pillows, metal, and wood. Okay, that's that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And if we look at cat food maker, apple box and fish. That's not bad as well. Hmm. Now I'm wondering. Oh, let's see, I'm stuck. I don't like that. Um I am wondering. If I can get these going somewhere else. So I'm not using many of these. So I don't know if I really want to make a whole new section. Just to produce that. Hmm. Let's see. Let's make the cat house maker first. That was metal, wood and pillows. Now, where am I making pillows? I think they're up here somewhere. Nope. Yeah, there they are. You see, I'm not, not really making many of them. But at the same time, I'm not selling many of them either. So what can I do? Can I put these down here? Oh, you can. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. So with the fish, we can literally just split it, split it here, bring it round and bring it up somewhere. So that's the cat food maker is nice and easy. I just got to get these uh, pillows. So how are we going to get these pillows? Should I put it? All right, let's make a, I think, I, I think I've got a way. My mind's all over the place. I need a long manipulator. Oh, I've got one. Cool. So if I take that, like that, and I put this there, put that like that, so that goes in. Then we've got, we can play around with that when we get underground. So first we've got to find what where we're gonna put this um cat house maker <laughs> it's literally gonna go back and forth because of this um underground little system that we're gonna have so if we put so we put five here like so i'm gonna clean up this bit because i don't need all of this and we need wood metal and that now metal is the hard part i can take the wood from here i've got loads of wood coming out here actually um, should I make another lumber mill? What is it? 20 metal. Metal is the, metal is the bane of my existence right now. Metal is the hardest thing to make. Uh, or not make, produce or mine. I've got a lot down here. Um, in fact, I've, it's completely full up. <laughs> it's completely full up. But we're going to take it from there. Like so. And how many does that give us? Does that give us 20? Good. So we're going to want the pillows to come up here somewhere. So it needs three inputs. So how are we going to do that? We're going to do that with a long manipulator and a short manipulator. So you want to do that. Um, I'm going to need some long manipulators. 
Let's make as many as I can make. And I'm going to need some short manipulators. I'm going to need a lot more metal. Luckily, also, I made a little metal storage here. Look at that beauty. That's a lot of metal. Ah, it's beautiful. I will actually increase this so we always have loads and loads of metal. Because that is literally everything that we need. We always need metal. So let's make more of them, more of them. And some more conveyor belts. Why not? So long manipulator now. Yeah, so it's going to pretty much be like that. So that can be, we can make that the, um, the pillows coming out like that. We need wood and we need metal. So the wood can come from here. I'm happy with that. I think it needs to go here. Lovely. In fact, in fact, why am I taking it from there when I can just literally, literally produce it right here? And I literally just made a um, lumber mill for it. Look at that, perfect. So that's the wood getting made. That's the pillow sorted. Let's just get a conveyor belt down here. That can go like that. And then we'll put that there so it comes, when it comes off the conveyor belt, it should hit it. You can put that like so, like so. Perfect, perfect. And then we need that, that, that. So that is the wood and the pillowcases done. Then we need metal. So where are we going to get the metal from? That is the biggest question. I don't really want to use this metal over here. But it might have to be. I wanted to keep that as a storage, to be honest with you. I really wanted to keep that as a storage. Let's take a look down here. Okay, so what I have decided. I am going to put a um, splitter here. Literally, just take it from there and that will give me extra going that way so we're going to get this underground bit done now i've got this up here this is what i want um do i want to now let me see where the connection points are i have put the connection points down for both the metal and the pillows there you go that is for metal and that is for pillows so this one is pretty easy Just like that wow my mouse control is absolutely amazing all right we'll just delete all of that stuff all right there we go so that's the metal done then we need the pillows it shouldn't be too bad. But I do have to make sure I leave space for products to move around down here. These are quite long tunnels that I'm using. All right, there we go. And then that can go like so. You know what? That, that didn't need to do that. Just a waste. There we go. Ah, dear. No, okay. Relax. All right. Yeah, that should be fine. We should be getting pillows. Cool. That's what I like to see. Now we're making cat beds. Slowly, but surely. Our first cat bed. Lovely. So then we need to bring that all the way mm, getting stuck uh, you know what i'm just gonna do that <laughs> it's so much easier i don't know why i didn't do that before okay we need to bring that all the way to this store down here so uh, what i'm gonna do i need to make more tunnels actually 
I'm going to put four openings because that's how many things we can have in a shop and it just guides it to where I need it to be. So, oh, can I put B? Okay, that's fine. Oh wow, I've run up. You know what? I use conveyor belts so much in this game. Um, let's get all this metal and start making loads and loads of conveyor belts. I wish there was uh, more of an overflow system. Maybe there is, and maybe I'm just not using it properly. But um, I, I would like to say, like, if this belt is full, then go here. And if it's and if this is full, put it on this belt, sort of thing. Um, you can do that with priorities if there was some sort of priority system with the splitters. I haven't really checked out the splitters completely. There may be a priority system already built in there, and I just haven't seen it yet. Okay, so we need to get the products all the way down to there. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Got to be careful with this because now I think I've sort of blocked my escape. Uh, we can do hybrid, can't we? And yes, yeah, so you can see it here. Okay, so that's fine. Oh, get out of this. All right, so that's fine. I can literally just do something like this. And then put, come on. Yep, selected it, cool. Put that there, that's going in there. Take hybrid off. And bring this all the way to one of these. And I literally just ran out of uh, <laughs> conveyor belts. Oh. Let's get all of it used up. There we go. All right. Like so. And that should get our... Oh no, I've got connected here. Got to remember to connect your conveyor belts. I always forget these things. It's the little de details, isn't it? All right, so that is a really slow production, but it is a production nonetheless. And there you have it. We have. Okay, can you like just get out of this? All right, we'll put you there. Lovely. We now have wooden cat houses in store. So I don't think anyone's asked for it here, but they're getting it anyway. So now we've got to take a look at cat food. Now it's these boxes, which again, and fish food, which again, we can just take from here so we can split this up um and take it from the ground underground and move it about where we need it but we need to find we need to think about where we need it now i don't need this i don't need all this cotton here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna quickly delete all this cotton okay and that is done in a blink of an eye so cat food cat food cat food um Rotate. We're most probably gonna can make it like that. I like this. I guess one, two, three, four, and five. That will just come out of here like so. It only needs a two input, so it shouldn't be too difficult in this sense. Yeah, 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 and no. Oh. <gasps> just about fits. That was not calculated at all. Um, okay. Lovely, lovely. And then we just need two outputs here. So that's gonna be out, out. And yeah, we just literally need to get the, um, these two products into that tunnel, into these. So how are we gonna do that? Can I make more conveyor belts? I cannot. So this one should be easy. We'll split that like so, and then just bring it round. 
this one now. Oh, this can go around there. Lovely. So I am going to get that done. And I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so there you have it. All done. All going in. Oh, I haven't put conveyor belts here. That would help, wouldn't it? Like that. Oh, some more conveyor. Ah, oh, I've run out of metal again. I feel like that's a common theme. I, I've, I feel like most episodes I've complained about running out of metal. <laughs> Alright, so we can do that. Oops, that's not what I need there. Cool, and that looks rather good to me. Yep, and that one takes it off there. Cool. So then we just need to do this. That goes underground. Ah. Ah. Now that is a problem. Can I do... something like this? Oops. Where does that... Where is that one? I can't see it anywhere. Ah, it's right there. No, I can't do that. Um, this is why you have this. Oh, I've messed it up, haven't I? There we go. Alright, so let's see what we're playing with here. So we need to get past this bad boy. Okay, that's simple. I know what I'm doing. I know what I am doing. You can delete. We can bring you down here. And we can put you like that. That can go in there. Cool. So now that should be out of its range. Now, can it get to... This is another bit I'm worried about. We need to get it to there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, actually. Ah, um, so we need to get it up here. Which is... This one here. Hmm... Okay, I see what I can do. I see it. Don't worry, guys. I got you. I got you. Now, all I need is a lot more conveyor belt. Or a lot more conveyor belts. All right, make sure you stay hydrated, guys. Make sure you stay hydrated. All right, that is built. What we're going to do, we're going to bring it through here. Up here. Like so. And that should get it in the direction I want it to go into. Put that there. Put this like so. Go underneath. Comes out here. Into there. Lovely. That is exactly what I need. Just need a few more. Look at that. It's coming through perfectly. Oh, that, oh. Guess what? Run out of metal again. Alright. Just need to get that in here. And that in there. And done. Wow. That's a little underground task, isn't it? Now I wonder why I ain't getting any of these cat houses. Let's go quickly check that out. So yeah, so now we've done that, we need to make this last thing, the monument, which I believe we've already researched. Cool, that's the last research on here. So that's absolutely amazing. Okay, so apparently I'm a bit stupid and I haven't put metal, uh, a, a long manipulator in these. So yeah, that's a thing. And also, it doesn't look like it's getting a lot of metal either. I need to be very careful with that. Alright, let's get some of this. You know, just grab loads of it. And let's make a few long manipulators. So while that's making that, let's take a look at what we need to make this monument. 
So we need one monument. Okay, so it might be different then. It might be different. We need 200 metal, we need a cat gate, we need optic cables and 10 science labs. Wow, it's a lot of stuff. Science labs. Um, okay, so let's just get these done. And then we're literally just gonna try our best to make whatever we can. Oops, did I delete that? I did. All right, so let's grab all the metal from here. Hopefully this will soften the blow a bit. Got a lot of metal here. All right, now that's grabbed. I think the first thing we need to make is the science labs. I think that's the most important thing at the moment. So we need 10 science labs. One, well that's five. 10, I believe. So that should be that done. We need 20 optic cables. One, two, three, four. And I'm saying one, two, three, four, but when you right click them, if you see at the bottom here, it actually uh, produces uh, five of them. Oh, you can produce maximum. I didn't see that. Control left, left click. I did not see that. So yeah, you can produce five of them. So I just did four clicks of the right mouse button to produce 20. So now we need a cat gate and 200 metal. Oh, wow. How much metal I got? 30. Uh -huh. That's loads of metal right there. Where is this cat gate? Oh, I need more optic cable. One, two, three. And let's go and farm metal somewhere. If I get off this, this crops, this cotton. All right. Do I have metal down here? I wonder. Okay, I have a little bit, so that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. All right. That is done. Now, what do I need to make again? I forgot already. I wanted to make a cat gate, didn't I? There you go, that's one done. So as long as I've got 20 optics, I've got the 20 optics, got the one cat gate, got the 10 science lab, I need 200 metal, I've got 25, and I need the monument. Now you can't build a monument, so the only way to get the monument is to pick it up. There you go, one monument. So I'm gonna just wait out and get 200 metal and I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so we got the 200 metal, took a bit of time and we can make the monument prototype. So that is done, lovely. And we're gonna pull it back where the original monument was and see what it looks like really. All right. That does look pretty cool. Look at that. End of stage zero. Um, it's, it's good, good to see you here. This is not the end though. Feel free to continue expanding your factory and follow us on social media to get notified about the next stage of early access. Now, I do believe that's not that far away. If I read something, I think I read something that is going to be pretty soon. So we can always revisit it when it comes back to the next stage of early access. Since you're so awesome, why don't you include your name in the credits for supporting us this early in the stage of development? Okay, I'll deal with that later. Cool. So this is uh this is it for this game. Can you do anything else with this? Nope. So yeah, we are done. And it was it was a pretty fun game. It was um there's a lot of things that it needs to do, but obviously it's in early access. So I, I'm not surprised that there's so much to do, um, so much things to build on and so much things to improve, especially quality of life, so on and so forth. Um, the soundtrack is amazing. It's really calm. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next series of whatever we're doing. M might go back to Dyson Sphere, might check out something new. So see you then. Peace.